So this is the hands-free device. Works the Bluetooth and your Dodge Charger, late model, Chrysler, Dodge, you know, those kind of cars. Um, all the Challengers, Journeys, all that stuff. I wouldn't even be surprised if they're Jeeps, but who knows. Um, anyway, mine died the other day. It's, my car's got a lot of miles on it, but it's a 15. I bought it in 16, but yet to my knowledge, no problems ever existed. I don't think the car liked the E85 I put in it, but that's another issue. Um, and I've had a few Democrats try to work on it, but that's not worked out too well. But I've changed the transmission fluid and filter and, you know, pan and all that. It's got an 8-speed. Put a Hurst shifter in it. It's a damn nice car. I like it. But my Bluetooth died the other day. And so I found out it's this little adapter that's defective. But I, I'm sort of handicapped. And... I've been working on cars too much lately, and I guess I could do it, but I don't want to do it. And I don't really have the money to do it. So, I um, hope this helps you. Some guy online, it's not my idea, said to unpair all the phones. So I did. and Or unplug it. You know, unplug the device. I would basically do the same thing. And sometimes it brings it back. So, I just didn't unplug it. I... Uh, you know, removing the battery would do the same thing, but all I did is um, all I did is um, unpair the phones, and then I set up my new S10 to pair with UConnect, and sure enough, it started working again. So I hope this helps you guys. Uh, it saved me at least two hundred fifty dollars plus labor. So I hope it helps you, and that's what this channel is all about. I don't make a cent. I hope it helps you.